What's going on guys, Cryptic Element here coming at you with a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's not necessarily Call of Duty related, but it definitely caught my eye and I figured I would share my thoughts and opinions and what I think would probably happen as a result of this. Now, what is this something that is not Call of Duty related? You probably already guessed by the name of the title. It is the fact that Battlefield 5 will be s apparently set in a World War One time period setting. Now, that's not confirmed by EA or DICE or anybody, so take it with a grain of salt. It's not confirmed. It's not 100% going to be happening, but it's still in the realm of possibility that that series will be going from, you know, the Battlefield 4, which is set in the modern near future era, to the World War One, you know, trench warfare style type of game. Now, I'm going to have a link to my source in the description down below. It's an IGN article. Basically, what it's saying is, according to a listing of a German retailer, Battlefield 5 is set to be a tactical shooter set in World War One with an October 26th, 2016 release date. So that's basically going to be the gist of all the information we know so far about the next upcoming Battlefield game. Now, let's pretend that we are getting a World War One Battlefield game. Like, let's let's pretend that is set in stone and that is happening. What does that mean for Call of Duty? So, the next Call of Duty game set to release in late 2016 is to be developed by Infinity Ward, and we still don't know like what it's gonna be. Goes to MW4 or something else. We don't know what time period it's gonna be. Future, present, or past. Now, going off what I have seen from the community's desires and wishes, it seems like people want a modern-style Call of Duty or an old-school Call of Duty set in, like, World War II or whatnot, just with boots on the ground and whatnot. Now, that's not necessarily my opinion. Like, my opinion on it is I don't really care about, like, what era it takes place in, future, modern, past. I mean, as long as it's fun, like, I don't... I don't really care like what era the Call of Duty takes place in. So, say that the next Battlefield title is set in the World War One era, and the next upcoming Call of Duty is not. It's take it takes place in a modern near future era or future era. The question that I've been thinking about a lot over the past couple days, ever since this announcement came up of the potential Battlefield setting, is would Call of Duty fans be more interested in buying a old school World War One Battlefield shooter than the upcoming Call of Duty game by Infinity War. Now, my opinion on this, I honestly don't care like what era Call of Duty takes place in, whether it's future, present, or past, like movement system or not. Like I, I honestly don't care. Like as long as the game's fun, like I'll love it. Like I I don't really have like a preference to it like I, I like boots on the ground I like advanced movement like I really don't care unlike some other people that I've seen through the community who are loud and clear that they do not want advanced movement they want classic boots on the ground movement and just that simple preference alone through the community could possibly affect the overall outcome of the upcoming Call of Duty game if we got a World War One battlefield shooter to wrap up this video, I'm going to leave you guys with a question that you guys can share your answers and thoughts and whatnot down in the comment section down below. If the next Battlefield title is to be set in World War One and the upcoming Call of Duty game is not, it's to be set in the near future or future era, would you guys be more enticed or interested in buying the Battlefield game over the Call of Duty game if you're a strong believer in boots on the ground combat would you guys rather buy the new battlefield game personally i was already interested in buying the battlefield game anyways because i'm a fan of not only the call of duty series but also the battlefield series so it's whether it's a world war one game or not i was gonna buy it anyways so if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like down below subscribe if you're new to the channel we're on the road to 100 subscribers here and i'll see you guys in the next video Cryptic Helmet, signing out.